Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So I decided to do a new series in my, because I've done a lot of palettes, I've done uh, full face kind of first impressions, but I really haven't done any liquid lipstick testing. Since the pandemic, I have thrown out a lot of lipsticks, including liquid lipsticks that I've had for quite some time. Um, usually I use liquid lipsticks when I'm doing special effects makeup, but I've been looking for something that'll last me all day so I don't have to worry about reapplying it. Um, I do gravitate towards more creamy textures like really creamy lipsticks, uh, shiny lipsticks, lip plumpers, so I'm looking for more or less that. But then I looked at my lip liquid lipstick collection and I'm like, I don't have many. So I decided to head over to my former job, Ulta. This is not like an Ulta type video, but I wanted to find some drugstore type of lip products. Since it was National Lipstick Day, I am on the hunt for the perfect liquid lipstick. I will be doing a test, a wear test of like a liquid lipstick from Estee Lauder that actually, I don't know if, it, if I need to do that again because honestly, they're going away. So I'm like, so yeah, I wanted to do more or less a liquid lipstick test. So I will be doing a video for each of these products just because I really want to see, kind of rate them, the drugstore families uh, rate them and then maybe slowly start doing the more high end. I need something cheap, something I can toss in my purse. I really don't like wearing um, super expensive liquid lipsticks as I feel like, I don't know, I'm just not. Most of the liquid lipsticks I had were drugstore type or really cheap type, I don't know. I used to wear um, Kat Von D when it was Kat Von D a long time ago. Um, I used to wear those liquid lipsticks constantly and I still have those, um, but I use them for more special effects makeup and I was looking at my lipstick drawer and I'm like, I do wear, I do like MAC, so I might do a wear test of MAC. Um, most of my lipsticks are creamy formulas, so I'm like, how should I start this series? Should I do it just drugstore? So yeah, I decided to just do drugstore for now um, until I can kind of research and see if any other brands are coming out with really good liquid lipsticks. So we're going to be doing a liquid lipstick series now. So I did pick up some liquid lipsticks from the drugstore from Ulta. I got the Essence Stay Matte 8 Hour. So Stay Matte 8 Hour Liquid Lipstick. I got the shade Duck Face. <laughs> it's a weird, weird name. This one wasn't on sale, but I really wanted to try this one. Um, this is the NYX Lingerie XXL Liquid Lipsticks. This is the shade Strip and Tease. I got the Maybelline Matte Ink in the shade Groundbreaker. I got the Revlon Satin Ink. Perfect Storm is what I got. I really wanted something like Max Stone, so. And then this one was kind of like, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try it out sometime. This is the L'Oreal, um, this is called I Rule. This is the, what is this called? L'Oreal, uh, it's just their liquid lipstick. So that's what the L'Oreal liquid lipstick looks like. So today we're gonna start off with probably the Stay Matte from Essence. I really wanted to try this out. This is supposed to be mask proof. So that's interesting. A little bit of information about the Essence Stay Matte 8 Hour Liquid Lipstick is it is highly pigmented liquid texture, dry super matte finish. I'm a little scared of that. Proven to last 8 hours. I think I could do an 8 hour wear test. Um, let's see, it's uh, cruelty free, does not have any animal byproducts so that means it's vegan. Um, gluten free, alcohol free, parabens free, microplastic particles free. So it seems like a pretty um, clean liquid lipstick. This was on sale for $3.49 but normally it's $4.99 which is not bad for a liquid lipstick. Um, yeah, so the ingredients, 
I do see dimethicone on the top of the ingredients list, which I'm not quite crazy for because dimethicone is more of like a um, silicone-y, slippery texture. It's more of like just kind of like a filler. Uh, not filler for like the face or anything like that, but it's like, um, I don't know, silicone-y texture. Um, it has beeswax, um, which is funny because I could have sworn vegan formulas don't use beeswax, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Comment down below. It does have mica, which if you're allergic to mica or talc, it does have it. One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients uh, in. So meaning that there's quite a bit, usually from the top of the ingredients list to the bottom. Um, top ingredients, like the first ingredients are going to be, it's going to consist most of. As you get down the list, it's less of. Um, it does have, let's see... A lot of this, I'm like, what? Does have some dyes in there. Um, Kaolin silica dimethyl silate. Um, I don't know what isododecane is, but I'm going to look that up. All right, so iso isododecane is a common ingredient found in many different type of types of beauty products. It this colorless liquid often add added to cosmetics and other personal care products to keep them soft and help them glide easily to the skin. So it's something that helps it glide, which is nice because uh, you don't want a liquid lipstick to be uh, patchy or, you know, you want it to really, really smooth on the skin. Um, while I'm at it, I'm going to look up, I'm going to give you more of a definition of a uh, dimethicone because that's the second ingredient right so it's dimethicone belongs to a group of polyamic organosilicon compounds that are commonly referred to as silicones so it's like a silicone texture um, is most widely used silicone based organic polymer due to its versatility and properties leading to many applications um, so the dimethicone is more or less uh, something that just helps kind of glide. It's a silicone texture. It's silicone-based ingredients that usually is in primers, foundations, moisturizers, or shampoos, conditioners, other hair care products. Which it shows that dimethicone can be safe and it's um, also non-comedogenic and it won't clog pores, which is nice. But the only thing I don't like about um, dimethicone is it can kind of sit on the skin if it's in skincare um, and it can um, irritate the skin and cause acne and, and like just clogging even though it says it doesn't clog pores it can um, it just can cause skin irritations um, that can be more on the spectrum of annoyance um, but that's the only thing if you're allergic to dimethicone like usually when I tell people about um, my ingredients in my skincare I tell them that I because they're like oh yeah I use the vino or I use this like a cheaper brand and I'm like well it's, uh, some do have dimethicone in it and it's not good for the skin overall if you are acne prone so that's why dimethicone in skincare is not the best in lip products I feel like it's okay because it helps it glide a little bit better so we're gonna go ahead and swatch this guy All right, so we're going to do a smell test we're going to do a doe foot applicator look and we're also going to swatch it that's pretty much how I'll start my liquid lipstick series videos so yeah it smells like like a sweet vanilla cupcake. It's sweeter though. It's almost like a caramely t uh, smell. All right, and then there's the doe foot applicator. It has a little bit of a slant to it. And then of course a paddle. It, um, I apply it, I guess, this way. I'm not sure about the color, but we're gonna swatch it. One swipe. I can see the glide. The glide is pretty nice. So it does deposit quite a bit of color. So we're going to let that kind of dry down. And I did put a thick layer, so I'm just going to spread it out. So yeah, it does kind of spread out with the finger really nicely where you can get a nice soft blend. That's quite nice, actually. It feels silky and lightweight. 
so I'm excited. So I zoomed you in so we can go ahead and line the lips. I usually line my lips with this. This is the Invisible Lip Liner from Urban Decay the 24-7 in the shade Ozone. And I don't typically line my lips. But with like creamier texture uh, lipsticks, I do have to because it bleeds out the corners of my mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. And I did put on um, a night mask of some Carmix and uh, a lip balm this morning, the Lancome Precious Cells Lip Balm. Whoa. I will tell you it's super liquidy. Um, the color I'm a little iffy about. It's not so much nude like the package. Do you see how nude that is? It's more of like a peachy nude and it's kind of making my teeth look a little more yellow than... It's drying down. Not really streaky. The color I'm a little bit concerned about because it does make my teeth look a little more yellow. If I do any like peachy tones, it does. But see on my hand, it looks more on the pink side, but I don't know if that's just me. But in the tube, don't, don't be fooled by the tube. Like the tube is way darker than what the lip product is. So far I feel it drying down. It felt really light, almost like an oily texture. It's weird. Um, interesting completely dry I can feel it it feels dry not not happy about that line we're gonna do a kiss test as it's dry just a bit of transfer from the inner part of my lip but I'm not liking that line Ugh. I hate lines like that um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and wear this for the eight hours it claims to be. Um, usually I don't do a whole lot of liquid lipstick uh, wear tests just because I don't wear liquid lipstick, but I'm, I am on the hunt for a really good liquid lipstick, so if you have any in mind, let me know in the comments below. That way I know what to look for as far as like a really good liquid lipstick. I'm just pers on a personal hunt for the best liquid lipstick out there so that I can just you know, do pretty much a one and done type deal and just keep to that brand. Because I know a lot of brands do tend to discontinue certain products, but um, so far, I feel like this is way dry. But if you are still wearing a mask, it's supposed to be mask proof. Which my state does not require masks, so I don't have to wear a mask, but if I do some makeup applications at work, I do. So I'm not liking how dry it is though. I feel my lips really, really dry. I feel like this is gonna flake, but who knows. So yes, it is 112. We're gonna do one check-in. Um, actually no, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna eat lunch in a minute. Um, so we're going to do an after eating test and then of course we will do um, by the end of the 8 hours check in. So we'll do it after I eat. Alright so we're going to do an after I eat. I'm going to try and do like film before I eat lunch or something like that or breakfast so that I know. Um, when to do the check in. Um, so I'm going to do an after I eat check-in and end of the eight hours check-in. So this one is claiming to be eight hour wear. So I will see you guys back in a few after I eat lunch. Let me tell you, I'm just not liking how dry it is. All right guys, we're gonna do um, my after lunch check-in. 
and it is currently, and I just literally just ate something real quick, 144. So, upon looking at it, because I ate um, mashed potatoes, some chicken, and it's just Marie Callender's quick lunch thing. I was just like, something quick. Uh, let me zoom in. Oh, it is already wearing, and as you can see, it's kind of, it didn't flake on me. But it looks like it's flaking off. It's definitely not, it's definitely not like a really good <laughs> liquid lipstick. Um, I mean now I, I, it's just, now it's all patchy, it feels dry, like my lips feel super dry. So I am going to reapply just so I can see how it layers and then how it wears throughout the day. So I'm actually doing this, so when I dump, dunk it in, I'm kind of taking the excess off by scraping it on the edge there so that I don't put too much. So we're gonna layer this guy to kind of fix those little missing pieces. It's weird. It applied kind of funny. It started picking up some pieces at the end of my lips. Now, if you don't notice, my lips are very wrinkly, which is why I wear creams nowadays. But my lips are pretty wrinkly. Um, yay. Mm, this accentuates the wrinkles even more super not thrilled about this to be honest with you it just feels dry and I hate it um, okay so we're going to go ahead and check in at the end of the night so hopefully I can last until 9 p.m. because uh, I put this on rather late which I probably should have put it on earlier but I was painting so there's that so um, I am going to be updating you on my painting genre um, soon because I do want to include some of my art stuff in my channel so that you guys can kind of get a perspective of how uh, this channel is going to progress progress or um, kind of like the content that will continue I don't know what do you think so yeah um, I will see you guys back in about seven hours I don't know how I'm gonna do this it's dry but anyways, and I have such a weird color on. It looks... Bleh, I'm not a fan. But anyways, I'll see you guys back in a bit. Alright, so we're going to do my last check-in. I did a check-in right after I ate lunch, pretty much after I applied it. And then, since then, we've gone out and about. Um, I ate dinner, which was something a little bit more oily. So... Alright, so we're zoomed up close. As you can see, it has worn off quite a bit. Has not really bled much. So when I reapplied it after I ate, it was still dry. And now, I mean, it's just dry. Oh. So now when I rub it, it's like pilling, like if, that's gross. So I'm just gonna kind of do kiss tests. It still shows that it's not transferred. We're gonna reapply. And I've been just kind of scraping off the excess and then Alright, so application you can see all the little pieces that flaked off underneath. 
So that's kind of annoying. Still doesn't transfer. So as for my thoughts on this lip product, it did, I wouldn't say it's an eight hour wear just because um, I did have to reapply it after eating the first time and then I did, I didn't reapply it after then, but I could feel myself like licking my lips um, and just feeling like my, my lips were like super, super, super dry. So, um, I mean, the color isn't bad. It's grown on me throughout the day, especially with my, my shirt. It kind of matches really nicely. Um, I wouldn't say this is my favorite liquid lipstick. Um, usually what I look for in a liquid lipstick is, is it comfortable? Will it flake? Will it pill? Will it... Um, you know, when I reapply it, is it going to be um, flaky? You know what I mean? Like, I want it to stay, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of matte formulas. Like I said, I've loved liquid lipsticks beforehand and then stopped using liquid lipsticks just because my lips have been wanting just a little bit more of, like, comfort and creamy consistencies and um, I like a gloss now. I never used to be a gloss wear but now I'm starting to really gravitate towards that because it makes my lips look smoother because as I'm getting older um, my lips are getting more lines so my lips have always been kind of like that wrinkly texture but I feel like this just makes it a little bit more accentuated in the wrinkly lips just because it's a drier formula that's why I like creams and that's why I like the buxom uh, lip plumper because those ones actually smooth out my lips and then the grande one is my treatment to smooth out my lips but um not sure how I feel about this liquid lipstick I mean it's it's not terrible it's not fantastic and then you can see it rubbing off already in the wet part of my mouth so that's kind of annoying but I mean the color I think it's just the color I think the color is making me hate it even more just because uh, in the wet parts of my mouth now there's a stark line it looks weird so I'm not a fan of that I was hoping it would be this color or where it did rub off when I ate a little bit and it did rub off throughout the day um, I didn't touch my lips I didn't reapply my lips I ate something a little bit more on the oily side, which was my uh, my salmon, and it did have a little bit of oil in it, just a tiny bit, so that kind of rubbed off the excess, but I already felt like it was already mostly rubbed off throughout the day. Um, Color-wise, not my favorite color. I was hoping it would be the color that the tube is, um, but I can, honestly, I feel like I can get away with this if I wanted more of like a rusty um, eyeshadow look for you know, when I go back to work, because I'm on vacation right now. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like if I do a little more of a rusty eyeshadow, this liquid lipstick would probably maybe work. Um, that or if I can contrast it with like a blue eyeshadow, because it's a little bit more on the peachy side. So, I mean, as far as the formula goes, it's not, it's not bad. I love the way it smells. It's very liquidy which is nice, but I do have to find that I have to kind of like take off the excess off the applicator in order for it not to be too thick. I mean, it's very liquidy, but it, like it's a little bit too much and then I have excess. So I feel like it deposits just a little too much. So I would say on the spectrum of it being um, a mask proof wearing formula, probably, I am curious to see how it wears under a mask. So if I do end up doing that experiment, um, I don't really necessarily wear my mask anymore just because it's not required anymore and I'm fully vaccinated. So um, at work we don't have to wear our mask, but if we're gonna start doing makeup applications and services, we do have to wear a mask. So I'm curious to see how this would hold up with that. I know my makeup, as far as it, makeup goes, um, double wear is going to be what I'm going to have to wear um, if I'm going to be wearing a mask doing makeup applications. I necessarily don't do makeup applications at my counter. I do more or less like skin um, treatments, almost like a 
we call it like the uh, like our, our facials. Uh, it's like it's we do like the micro um, cleansing balm and then of course and advanced night repair it's like a mini facial is what we do at Estee Lauder so um, but a lot of customers do ask me how to get the perfect kind of complexion and I usually just go for skincare first and then of course like my favorite foundation and how you set it so yeah I feel like double wear and maybe this would work really well together as far as being under a mask so um, the vegan formula is is curious to me so um, like there is an ingredient in here what did I say it was earlier um, did have on the ingredients list PEG8 beeswax I'm gonna look that up PEG8 beeswax because I I want to say I could have sworn beeswax was not um, is not really vegan but let's see PEG-8 beeswax is a result of esterification of fat free fatty acids of beeswax with polythylene glycol the outcome of this is process it is light colored wax with self emulsifying properties improve oil gelling capabilities to be used in all cosmetic application okay so is it vegan okay so that's that's interesting. Okay, I'm 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 like this is interesting. Okay, so it claims to be and it says right there on the sticker a vegan formula. PEG-8 beeswax is not vegan. It is chemically altered form of beeswax used in cosmetics as an emulsifier. Beeswax is made from melting honeycomb produced by bees to store food for their young. So this they often tout as a natural, environmentally friendly alternative to chemicals um, or plastic. There are clearly major issues, a major issue for vegans in that beeswax is obtained from bees. Hence, the answer of the question is beeswax vegan? No, it is not. So, I find that funny that Essence is claiming this is 100% vegan. I mean, it's saying it is a vegan formula right there on the sticker. It is not a vegan formula if it has that ingredient in it. So there is that, that's kind of like, um, and let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ingredients in, so I feel like it is not, it's it's going to be there because it's, it's an emulsifier, it's supposed to help kind of smooth everything down and kind of ask, act as a like silicone-y type of texture like the dimethicone and the isodotiscane, <laughs> that one's hard to say. Kaolin is supposed to be acting as like kind of like a moisturizer, but um, and then mica. I'm not sure why there's mica in here, but I feel like this is funny that it's saying that it is a vegan formula when it is not. So if you are vegan, which I have my nieces that are vegan, uh, or my my uh, almost 21 year old niece is vegan. Um, she still uses, well she's more vegetarian, but she uses vegan formulas and cosmetics. Um, she, I would not recommend this to her if it has the beeswax in it because I know how she is. She doesn't like anything that with animal byproducts, that's what vegan formulas claim to be. The beeswax is considered an animal byproduct even though it's not a part of the bee. It's produced by the bee. Um, so it's not, I guess, it's got animal byproduct in it. So I feel like this is a weird claim that Essence has on it. So, and I'm curious to see what the reviews, but does have four, no, three and a half stars is the review on the Ulta website. Um, three stars, matte lips, great color, flakes and clumps. I expected a lot. I was pleased with the shades. Essence has limited range compared to high-end high brands. I was looking for a dupe of Kat Von D's Lolita, but it clumps and flakes even without reapplying. 
It takes longer to dry than cats as well. For the price, it's acceptable, nice nude shade, okay? Don't think I would buy again. Uh, the color just didn't work for me. It looked dull. Of course, I can see that. It is a matte formula. It's going to look dull. Um, do not recommend. TikTok made me buy it. Guys, please don't follow, like, don't assume that it is going to work out if TikTok says so. Um, let's see. We'll definitely return. I bought four shades because the price. Super disappointed. Cracks so easily. Dries and it's stiff. Yes, it is. I agree with that part. Gross. <laughs> Every time I get one of these, it's always been used. <laughs> and it dries my lips up. Well, you know, there are no seals on this, but I made sure when I did buy it, and that's the big thing about Ulta, me being a former employee, is that a lot of people crack open things and then put it back on the shelves either half open or they've swatched it, which you're not supposed to do in the drugstore aisle. Please don't. But I did check and made sure that the applicator here was clean as well as this and there was absolutely no product in that little hole there. That's how you could tell it's not been used um, or touched because this, the chamber here would be empty and not touched. Once you start pumping the product out, it starts getting full of liquid lipstick and then it'll get the rim. So look for that when you are buying that. Um, I remember working there, a lot of people swatch things they weren't supposed to and it is unfortunate because they destroy the product. So I'll, I forgot to say what shade I was wearing. It's called Duck Face. I think I did say that one. But anyways, the reviews are mostly like, it's dry. Feels, well this says they feel great, the colors look beautiful within about 5 minutes, but the product begins to crack and crumble and rub off. Pieces get all over your face. I do agree with that. I did have some peeling and chunks kind of fall even now. There, it has begun here, starting to ball up. So I would say this is not an 8 hour wear. It is not um, the best product. I'm of course going to keep it. I'm probably going to just use this um, just to kind of toss in my bag to take with me in case I need to like put a long wearing lipstick on or whatever. This is just uh, something I could just toss in my bag for $3.49. I mean you're not going to get the best. So with that being said, people rated it the way they were they intended to. I know the people that would say Like, there's people that say it's a great matte lipstick. You know, it just depends on the person, really. Um, the really good rated, this said, stay on nicely. Wish they had bright red colors. Um, highly recommend. Wore all day, ate, drank with it on, lasted all day. I was actually not surprised not to mention. Super cheap, definitely better than I expected. Yeah, for a $3.49, it's not so bad, but it's, it's just not something I would gravitate towards as a formula because it's a little bit too dry. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on the Essence Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick. Alright, so next liquid lipstick we're going to review in my next video will probably be the L'Oreal one. I kind of want to try that one out, so um, I will film that as well. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Hope you liked it, and I know I want... I wanted to start a liquid lipstick kind of series for the longest time. I don't wear them as much anymore, but I am in search of kind of that one that I can go to, like a go-to liquid lipstick. So I wanted you guys to join me on that search and kind of get an idea of what drugstore options are there. Or are there, um, I'm not going to try every high-end one because I just feel like um, I've been down that route. I kind of want something a little bit on the cheaper side, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my video. Uh, I do know that there's going to be a liquid lipstick coming out for Estee Lauder. And it's... Um, more of like a velvety texture, so I will test that one out as well. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.